I couldn't watch anymore. I leaned forward and waved away the smoky white haze that lingered in the air over Isabel's forehead. The figures in the smoke drifted away. I can't believe I just saw that. It's insane. I blew out an exasperated breath, trying to scatter the vicious images faster. That is not what happened. Cindy sprawled out on my bedside table, looked up from her tiny magazine. It's an interesting perspective, though. All those things kinda happened. You did push over that woman at the desk. You did punch Tarquin. You did have a loud argument with your sister at a charity function that she put on. It didn't happen like that. I didn't say any of those things. Damon stopped chanting and sat back in the armchair. The dream smoke dissipated completely. He looked exhausted. I know. It's not a recording, dude. He drawled, wiping his face with his hands. It's just a dream. Well, it's offensive. I got up out of my chair and started pacing backwards and forwards at the foot of the bed, suddenly too agitated to sit still. It's so wrong. Is that what she thinks actually happened? Is that how she sees me? Damon shrugged, picking up the candle on the table next to him and blew it out with a distinctively weary puff of breath. Well, yeah, it's what she's dreaming about anyway. It's crazy. I stomped backwards and forwards, irritation overriding my exhaustion. I called her fatty once, once, and I was four years old. It was after she sprayed me with bug poison and called me a cockroach. I pointed at the comatose body of my oldest sister, lying on my bed next to Mom, who was still equally unconscious. Isabel's dreams make it sound like it was a regular nickname I had for her. I called her that once. Gah! It's just her perspective, Cindy said. Everybody views things differently, you know. Reality is different for everyone. Slumping back in the armchair, I exhaled heavily. <sighs> this was a mistake. Damon echoed my sigh. Oh, well, it was worth the practice. Now I know the dream casting spell actually works. He frowned, his big mouth drooping comically like a clown. It's a shame it didn't work on your mom. <laughs>